the skin to tab in Capture One is a tool that you can use to make the skin to look even or uniform. Here's how it works. First thing you want to do is create a new feed adjustment layer. So come to your layer right here, click on this drop down icon and go to see new empty adjustment layer. But the one we're looking for is a new field adjustment layer. So click on new field adjustment layer. So once you create this new field adjustment layer, you basically created a mask and you can choose to just rename it skin tune. So let's just rename it skin tune. Now if you press M on your keyboard, you are going to see that mask. If you press M, they are going to hide that mask. So after that, come to your color tab right here and just scroll the way down till you see color editor. So this color editor, we have the basic, we have the advanced, but what we want right here is the skin tool right here. So click on skin tool. Now with the skin tool layer selected, scroll the way down, click on this picker tool right here and just select any reference of the skin you want the whole skin to look like. So I'm going to select here right here and this is our reference. So you can see right here, it has selected those skin tool for us. Now to see the parts that are selected, just scroll the way down and click on this view selected color range. And the parts that are selected are going to be on color and the parts that are not selected are going to be on black and white. But we don't want this red on our shirts to be selected. We can actually mask it out later since we're actually working on the mask. But we can do from here, we can just move it away from the reds. Let's see. So under this range right here, just take it away from the reds. Let's see. So click and just drag it up. Now you can see right now, it's removing the colors on the dress because the dress right now is no longer selected. Also, if I zoom, you can see the color of the makeup right here are now looking fade and also the blush are no longer there because I'm moving this range right here. While if I just take the range back, you can see the eye makeup right here are now visible. Also, if I go all the way down, you can see right now the shirts are visible. So for me, you can just choose to narrow the selection and just make sure only the skin is selected. So since we are using a mask, we can actually mask it out later. It doesn't really matter. All right, so I just want to explain that. Now to make the skin to look even, all you have to do is move your amount slider and uniformity slider. So for the amount, we have the use saturation and lightness. Also for the uniformity, we have the use saturation and lightness. So if I take the hue up, I'm adding greens to the image. And if I take it down, I'm adding oranges to the image. So I think I'm just going to take the hue um, of the amounts to minus 1.4 like this. And I'll scroll all the way down to uniformity and just take the hue of the uniformity up a little bit just to make the skin to look even. And also play with the saturation and see which one works for me. So I take the uniformity up a little bit to about 70. So 70 works for me. So let me just turn off this view selected color range so you can see the before and after. Or the before and the after. The before and the after. So you can see the skin too is looking even right now. So I'm going to take the hue up even more. The before and the after. But it's affecting the clothes and also affecting the blush and also affecting the lips and the eye makeup. So let's just take it out of this particular place. Now, since this is a mask, I'm going to press M to reveal the mask and just pick this eraser tool right here, this AI eraser tool. So once I click this AI eraser tool, I'm just going to come to the close and just make sure only the close are selected. I'm just going to click once and it will automatically remove that selection from the close. So if I just add this mask, so you can see we don't have it on the close anymore. So if I just zoom in, let's remove it from the makeup on the face and also from the blush. So you can see, I'm going to pick the normal eraser tool and just manually erase it. So I'm going to click once to see the properties. So I'm going to take the opacity to about um, 30 percent and take the hardness to about 9 percent or 6 percent. I'm going to paint and the makeup like this to remove that effect from the makeup just like that. All right. So just brush on it and remove it. And also, I'm going to brush on this um, blush right here to bring back the original blush color because I don't want the blush color to change. So I'm going to right click again and just take maybe the opacity to about 67. Okay. And just paint on the blush to bring back the original blush color because I don't want to change it. So I'll do the same thing for this other side right here. Just bring back the original blush color. All right. And do the same thing for the lips. Bring back the original lips color just like that i just want this effect to affect only the skin too and not the lips or the makeup okay all right now if i just show you the mask you can see the blush are no longer there the eye makeup are no longer there and the dress are no longer part of the mask right now only the skin tone is selected and the effect is affecting only the skin tone now if i just turn off this skin tool layer right here you can see this is the before this was how the color was and this is the after the color creation 
if you feel the effect is too much you can just come here and just reduce the opacity if you feel it's too much but i'm gonna leave it at 100 100 works for me so the before and the after so this was skin to is instead of capture one and how you can actually even out or make your skin to look even and if you want to watch how i edit my picture instead of capture one check out this video right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative